2020 has proved to be a weird year. There's been a lot of changes, a lot of loss, a lot of uncertainty about what the future is going to bring, and Camp Fowler has not been immune from that. So we spent a lot of the early part of the spring trying to be really thoughtful about what the summer would look like. And after a lot of thought and uh, prayer and discernment, uh, the Board of Trustees and the year-on staff uh, made the decision to cancel summer camp for 2020. But we felt like canceling camp for the summer um, was something that we really needed to do in order to uh, care for this community that we are stewards of. The Board of Trustees jumped on that early and they were able to make a decision by the end of April that we would suspend the summer camp season. Um, and that was significant because that allowed um, our campers and families a bit of time to, to grieve and to process that, but it also allowed us then a good month to figure out how then do we do ministry this summer. And so um, it allowed us to come up with a strategy for opening camp up to people many of whom have never been here before to have these day visitors. So the day visit program was where people could sign up and come up to camp for the day and camp was open for them to kind of explore, walk along the trails if they wanted to, check out the garden and kind of just spend time in a place um, that they love and a place outside. I think at a time that um, people are so ostracized from other people because they can't be within a comfortable distance camp provides a space to walk around, get to see friendly faces even from a distance. Sometimes it'd be a lot of the first times families would see their grandparents um, since quarantine because it actually had space for them, kind of socially distance. Uh, a sense of normalcy during confusing time and also kind of shows them that, yeah, camp's a little different this summer, but we're gonna get through this and we're gonna be okay at the end of it. Uh, and then there's a thousand small projects that uh, Nicole and Lucas and Aubrey Harv and I were able to do throughout the time that we never would have had the chance to do. Uh, building bridges in the trails and um, cleaning different buildings and things like that. We're still refreshing the camp. We're not just taking this year off. We're still doing stuff to make it better, make it, uh, make Fenimore look nicer, make Suits Field have more grass. Harv is relatively new here, year and a half. It really allowed us a chance to work together in a unique way. Summer, we've sandblasted Fenimore and restained it. We've cleaned the floors in Fenimore, cleaned the kitchen walls, put up new trim in the kitchen of Fenimore. A wonderful building that we'll be able to enjoy for lots and lots of years. A building that will be bright. So just a new facelift on that and something that'll be easier to keep up now that we have gone, we've sandblasted it down and gotten this new finish on. We've worked on the removal of the shower houses starting early in the spring. We've got the foundations poured at this point. No campers here this summer. We've been able to go through all the buildings, look at why things are where they're at, and why we do things the way we do. The rhythm of the camp just kind of go from closed to open to campers are coming, and whether it's a good rhythm or bad rhythm, we've just stuck with it. This has given us a chance to look at what we do and why we do it. Um, it allowed us a bit of that chance to to relook at, at kind of almost every part of our ministry up here. That's real refreshing. It's just it's it's lovely to clean things out or redo the nature center to to watch Marty work with the garden and see what could really happen there. Um, at, and frankly it opened some doors and windows to to a future that will carry the, the, the DNA of the past with it. It's real clear that Fowler has a unique or a clear sense of what its ministry is. We have this space and this land and this time to, to care for and keep. And we invite children into that and how we use that time. But when they weren't here, we still composted food because that's what we do with our leftover food waste. We, we, we were able to uh, 
we were able to gather together the, the students who were graduated seniors this year. And what's great, it, was, it wasn't our idea. We have great staff, but we didn't come up with this as an idea. We came up from some seniors who were here who said, could we do this? And we thought, oh, that's a brilliant idea. Um, so we were able to put that together in a way that was safe um, for them and for our staff, for our community. Um, and it also provided these senior campers with the opportunity to come spend some time at camp, a place that many of them um, know and love, and also to um, reflect on their time as campers. And it was really a joy and a privilege for us as staff to hear from them about what their time um, from about what their time as campers meant to them. I started coming here when I was four years old. I haven't missed a single summer. Fowler taught me more about the environment than any science class I ever could, more about how to love the creation that God put us in. Well, I know when I need this place the most, it's always going to be here for me. This place has been really important to me, and figuring out who I am and what I want to do with my life. It's been really important to have this as like a stepping stone, a place to always come back to. Camp friends are the people I do everything with. They, they're the most important people in my life. I honestly couldn't be more grateful for a place that has like taught me everything I know about friendship and community and religion. Which so really allowed them to have some closure and the staff to give each one of them a blessing. And it broke me up. I, I just couldn't hold it together that day. Um, because it was, it was so, both so sad that they couldn't uh, do what they loved to do, but also so hopeful that um, they were going to take the God that they heard about in this place, the God who's with us in good times and in bad, and, and go forward with that. Camp is, um, is an idea and a value system that says uh, for us that says Christ is going before us into this world where do we see that in our lives so that it's not just at camp that we can see the, the goodness of God or that we can be that better person but it can be at home it can be taking care of our neighbors it can be uh, listening to the scientists and and studying to become a scientist it can be that sense that those challenges that we played with up at camp suddenly are real and and we can take them into our lives so we didn't just entertain you up at camp but we empowered you to go out into the world uh, as hopeful people